lifting. The air is 70. It's summertime. As long as the wind is from the west, it stays warm. But there's no waves, so it's as you think. But there's going to be a storm stalling out in the ocean, and an easterly swell is going to develop at the end of the week. So that's good news. The only thing is the temperature's going to go back down. It's probably going to rain. And the first tropical wave of the season is near the Bahamas, and it's going to come forward. It may have a little spin, but it's going to have downpours, so it's not boring. There is going to be more swell, and I need it. It's been a long winter. It's time to put that summer coat on. I'll take the winter coat off. See you on the waves. So much for that warmth. Yesterday it did hit 90. We taped with uh, no shirt on in the water. Well, that's not happening now. The wind's from the northeast. We've had the back door front, and when it came through, boy, wind picked up, gusted to 30, and now we have got about a four foot uh, local wind swell every four seconds. Uh, the wind is going to go then east, and then it's going to come in from the south, and by the weekend it'll be west. And there is a huge storm forming in the middle of the Atlantic. Let's go take a look at the weather maps. Okay, so this is the Tuesday map. There is a huge storm out there near Greenland. There's the powerful storm that drops snow in Colorado. And I don't know if you can make it out, but our backdoor cold front. So I will put this into motion. And where's the storm at sea forming? Kind of forms just off the map there on the right. You can see it over here. And then the front comes in. Now we're all the way out to Saturday. So the storm's really far away. But if you look at the high pressure system, uh, the air is pushing down. So there is going to be a long fetch coming in. And this is about the time that the wind is going to shift on Saturday. Uh, there's a lot of rain. There's almost a tropical connection here. There is a, an attempt at a, a hybrid tropical low. And that storm way out in the Atlantic is actually backing. So uh, we could have some pretty good surf. I was pretty surprised how much surf there was uh, over this past weekend. Did you see that wave on Sunday? Uh, there's an image of it. So anyhow, there goes another almost hybrid low south of us on Sunday, south of New England. Strong high way up there, still trying to push air down, and almost cold enough for snow in the Midwest again. And that rain just keeps on coming. Now we're into Monday. It's called a blocking pattern. And look at that. A new low is forming. So the old one's gone, uh, but there's a new low forming right there, but it doesn't have a lot of isobars. Uh, that's pretty interesting, though, and it keeps on raining. Uh, so the lawn is going to get watered, and there will be surf. And then there's another system coming in next week. Now we're a week out, and uh, it doesn't look like any more of that summer warmth for a while. A lot of rain. It's kind of good. I like the rain. Now we're starting over again. There it goes. There's the high. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> more map. Uh, this is for May 16th, so that's uh, a Friday. There's the big storm kind of northeast of Bermuda, but it's good that it's our la at our latitude, and it shows 5-meter swell out in the middle of the Atlantic and then closer to shore there's that little hybrid tropical system trying to build with 3.5 meter that's pretty good uh, that's going to be coming north so surf over the weekend and I mean it's going to clean up compared to what we just saw up in the ocean we'll see you at the shore